So last weekend I spent my time folding proteins in hopes of helping scientists find a cure for COVID-19. Now let me just say that I never thought I would be doing anything like this. But thanks to an amazing research project developed by the University of Washington Center for Game Science and in collaboration with the UW's Department of Biochemistry, an absolutely incredible game named Fold It was developed. As crazy as it looks, Fold It is a puzzle game where the objective is to fold proteins into three-dimensional shapes based on a certain set of objectives. These results are then analyzed by researchers to see if it can be applied in the real world. Now what you're seeing here is the spike protein SARS-CoV-2. This is what the coronavirus uses to invade human cells. So in this puzzle, the goal is to fold a protein that will bind with the virus, ultimately blocking its ability to attach to human cells and thus stopping the infection. Data is generated, plausible results are then tested, and if possible, a drug might possibly be developed. Knowing this, I decided to jump into the game and give it a try. No, no, I want you to connect with these. I just put that there, man. You and you, right there. There you go. Oh yeah, they're zoning. Nope. Come on, give me a good hydrogen bond. You know you want it. What a punk. I gotta be like that protein. Now at first glance, this looks like alien spaghetti, but after a few tutorials, you amazingly start to understand what you're looking at. I'm not saying that I understand something as complex as structural biology, but the game does a good job of breaking down this complex topic into an understandable puzzle. There's a comprehensive series of puzzles that introduce you to different concepts and tools, and before you know it, things start to click. Kind of hard to tell you what I'm looking at, but oh yeah, that just looks like cancer to me. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna undo that. Okay. Well, I don't know if that'll do it, but let's wiggle it and see what happens. Wow. Okay. No. No. There we go. That's starting to look like something. That must have been what they were intending. Let's give it a little bit of a shake. Oh yeah, look at those numbers go up. Mm-hmm, boss defeated. I personally feel like this game is best explored with an open browser alongside. As you come across new words, take a moment to research them. It was not long before I was introduced to some truly amazing science that I've really never seen before. The really cool thing about this is that I could see it and I could play with it on screen. <sighs> Looking up things I never thought I would look up here. Okay, hydrophobic normally buried inside the protein core. <laughs> A whole bunch of words I've never read before. Here we go. Alanine. What? Oh, here we go. An electron density plot. Oh, I got it. We're, we're trying to figure out what is actually in here. And we kind of think it has something to do with this. <laughs> Let's just say it's quite the adventure into some seriously big brain science. If you're thinking at this point that you clearly don't know what you're doing and therefore have nothing to contribute, you might actually be surprised to find out that human generated solutions by citizen scientists like myself have provided useful results that matched or outperformed arithmically computed solutions. So hats off to humans, even if we don't know what we're doing. Haha! <laughs> But the game holds your hand quite a bit, so just in case you're wondering. Now, if there's one thing that I've learned from running dozens of hive mind experiments on my YouTube channel here, it's that inspiration can literally come from anywhere. And when you pair that collaborative inspiration with expertise, you just find that you break down walls time and time again when you think that there might be nothing more to discover. Next thing you know, somebody writes a comment, somebody creates something that you've never seen before, and boom, you're off to the races discovering new things. It happened so many times when I thought it wasn't going to be possible, and I'm sure that's what they're kind of looking for here. So I really wouldn't worry about opening it up and making a mess because they're looking for results and they kind of mine data and all that good stuff. I mean, data is better than no data. That being said, if this is still not for you, but you still wish to contribute, there are a few options available if you wish to donate something like your computing power towards the massively demanding computational studies. Check out the links in the comment section below if that's something that you're interested in. Now as for me and playing through the campaign, it took me about three hours to get through all of the tutorials and then about an hour for each puzzle that I then did after that. In total, I submitted three different possible things for the COVID-19 puzzle, so hopefully one of those is actually useful to somebody right there. All right, so here's my solution. I was able to get it to about 12,791 points, but the thing that I was most interested on here is the amount of times that I was able to create more connections over here. That way it sticks 
to this thing. So I was able to add about five or so hydrogen bonds over there. So in addition to what we got going on here, maybe this thing would stick better than enough to inhibit its ability to, you know, spread and connect to the human cell instead. Maybe, just maybe somewhere out there, somebody out there might find this useful. So I'm going to save the solution. This is going to be called B12 and open and share solutions and upload for scientists. There you go, bud. All right, so there we have it. An interesting weekend. Ultimately, I feel like it was really rewarding to kind of go through this effort and to try it out because what really excites me is that I actually on some level get to contribute to helping the researchers fight this pandemic and possibly be a part of ridding the world of COVID-19, which I got to admit is, is pretty cool. What did you do last weekend? Watch Netflix? Slacker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The other more humbling thing here is that I know that this will expose curious young minds to this amazing field of science, and it gives them something to play with, which is awesome. I know for me that my exposure to 3D CAD software was the bridge that I needed in order to kind of take my curious mind and then eventually become a mechanical engineer and have a whole career in that. Much like CAD was for me, I wonder if Foldit will be that bridge for curious young minds looking to become the next generation of scientists. I think that's pretty awesome. This is one of the coolest games, if we could even call it a game, if it's a cool game that I've seen in a long time. You can check it out in the link in the description below or just go straight to fold.it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you again next time. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Rothgar, out.